Welcome back to another Darksiders 3 video guys. Today I'm going to be answering some questions that the community has asked me in the comments and on top of that just answering general community questions that people have asked about the game. So first of all going into it a lot of people have been roaming across the land trying to find out if there's more armors currently in the game. As of right now there is no armors currently in the game except for pre-order armor and of course the regular normal armor in the game the standard fury outfits. Now there is going to be the abyssal armor i hope i'm pronouncing that right i'm probably butchering it there is going to be that armor but that will be in a void of the keepers dlc and there will be another armor that has yet to be revealed that will be in the second dlc along with that so basically what that means is we're going to get the abyssal armor uh in the keepers of the void dlc and the other dlc we don't know what the armor looks like as of yet and or what it's even called so going on to the next thing on top of that is the fact that there is no horse gameplay in Darksiders 3. So a lot of people believe that this was due to budget cuts and that's the reason why there is no such as like horse roaming or horse battling in the game. That is not actually true. This was actually programmed to be in the game from the very start. Not exactly the very very start but when they were looking for a storyline of how they can make Fury vengeful and rageful they went along with this storyline. So it was not mainly with budget cuts as a lot of people think it was. The next thing and final thing is executioners and finishers in the game. What this essentially means is when you go and kill a boss in the first Darksiders and the second Darksiders, you would have a button prompt being B to execute it. And if you did not hit that in time, they would regenerate and you'd have to go through the whole process again of what you just did. Not the entire process, but just like, you know, damage them again until they hit, until they had the B button over them. So when that happened, uh, a lot of people saw that in this game there would be, or they found out that there would be no executions or finishers in the game. So a big part of this was the simple fact that the developers did say that they wanted finishers and executions in the game but at the same time they felt the reason being that it made the game a little too easy but the main part is because of budget cuts and constraints that they had to go along with so they would have added some type of finishers and or executions to normal enemies not bosses they didn't want to do it to bosses they wanted to leave bosses where you got them empty on health and it automatically went to a cutscene. Uh, but for regular normal little enemies they were going to try to add some you know executions and finishers but they weren't able to do it due to budget cuts in my opinion don't shoot gunfire games about this it's not their thing they had to go with what they had and they did a pretty good job with it the other thing although is that they went with no finishers and executions personally or didn't even add just one or any because of the reason being that they wanted the game to be more challenging so a while back I'm not exactly sure when if I can find out link in the top link in the description but there was basically a question asked as to you know about uh, executions and finishers and they said they would be in the game but we all know how that went but there was also another question that was asked as to you know basically why there's not gonna be any and the response was they also felt that the games, number one and number two, especially number two, were very easy to manipulate the system in order to get those kills on the little minion guys that would allow you to challenge more beastly guys that you weren't able or weren't supposed to at the beginning of the game, thus meaning you could power straight through the entire game. You can look up builds about Darksiders 2 where people just have literally execute uh health on execution builds and they just power straight through the game at the beginning and stuff like that they wanted the game to be a little bit more difficult than the first two games so that is overall it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any more questions drop it in the comments section below if you guys want to check out more of my dark Shadows 3 videos on the left side i have the first location of the first essence of chosen in the game and on the right side we have how to uncap your fps limit on the pc version so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.